Hi everybody! Welcome to another week of Makers Monday. I am Anastasia Radloff aka Stamp and Blondie and thank you for joining me for another week of live step-by-step -step crafting. I hope you all had an amazing weekend. Um, I have some fun news. Uh, we decided to adopt the dog that we had been fostering and we have now decided to call her Bailey. So Bailey is joining me here in the craft room today along with Elvis and Leia as always. Now let me just make sure that I am live here on Facebook. Uh, it looks like it may be taking a little bit to start here, but if you can see me, let me know, say hi. Um, if it's showing some problems, this is all recorded, so I can always upload it later. Uh, so I hope you're able to see me and uh, you're ready to go. All right, today we're going to be creating two projects featuring the Sweet as a Peach stamp set. Now, this stamp set is going to be so fun to create with. I am really looking forward to being able to uh, craft and create these two projects with you. Now, like I said, if you guys can see me, let me know because it looks like on my computer uh, I can't see you, but... Uh, I'm getting comments, so who knows? If, if you can see me, let me know. Okay, you guys can see me. Uh, I don't know why I can't see you guys. I, I can see the comments, but I can't see my video, so who knows? Gotta love technology. All right, so we are going to create, like I said, two projects today featuring the Sweet as a Peach stamp set. Now these stamps are perfect for beginner stampers, and these projects are what they call simple stamping quick, easy projects, and you'll be able to create them in no time. Now, the best part about these projects is we created these during my Stampin' Blondie team meetings, yes, meetings, last week. So we had our in-person team meeting here in Tucson for the first time in 14 months. I had missed seeing my ladies so much and it was great to see all of them in person. But then for those that weren't able to join us, we had a virtual crafting session on Thursday of last week. So it is so exciting that you are joining me today. Thank you everybody. And let's go ahead and get started. We have, as always, if you are new to watching me each week, I have something that I like to call Prize Patrol. And Prize Patrol is super fun and easy to enter. All you have to do is share this video, comment that you shared, and that's it. We've got some really fun prizes um, today and from last week. So last week our prize was, uh, let me go ahead and flip my camera here so you guys can see the Whiskey Business Stamp Set. So I featured this stamp set last week on my projects. We did some really fun Technique Tuesday fancy fold projects last week, so hopefully you're able to see those. Um, if you aren't able to watch the video, um, just you can scroll through my previous comments and you'll see on my Stampin' Blondie page uh, the, the bridge cards that we created last week. So the prize patrol from last week was the Whiskey Business Stamp Set. And the winner from that last week is Cindy Nielsen. So congratulations to Cindy Nielsen. She will receive the Whiskey Business Stamp Set. Uh, Cindy, you just have to uh, message me your address so that I can send this to you. But I am super excited to share the Whiskey Business Stamp Set with you. Now, today's Price Patrol is also going to be a fun stamp set, and I'm featuring it in today's projects, the Sweet as a Peach stamp set. Like I said, this is a new stamp set from the 21-22 annual catalog, and let me show you. There is a whole suite of fun products in this Sweet as a Peach. So we have an entire suite, like I mentioned. So how is that different than a bundle? So a suite has everything that you need to create some really fun projects. It comes with 12 by 12 designer series paper, as well as these really cute four ounce jam jars. So as well as the stamp set and the die bundles. So these little jam jars, obviously you can put jam in them, but there are some other fun things that you can put inside, like those peach ring candies. You can put uh, scrubs, like salt and sugar scrubs, a really fun way to create some 
different unique gifts for people. Of course, you can embellish it with the 12 by 12 designer series paper. And this is the You're a Peach 12 by 12 designer series paper. So these papers are really fun because they have got a watercolor look to them. Now one side you have your big floral patterns with the peaches and then the other side is um, some fun polka dots, stripes, and my favorite are these little itty bitty peaches here. So I like that you can use this for really any kind of projects. You can use this for a birthday, congratulations. You could do a summertime wedding card in this. Um, with the blue and the pink and the green, this would really make a fun baby shower card as well. So we have Balmy Blue, Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, Early Espresso, Mango Melody, Pear Pizzazz, Petal Pink, and Basic White in our 12 by 12 designer series paper. So this is coordinating with our Sweet as a Peach stamp set. And then there's also the bundle as well that you can order, which is the dies. Now these dies coordinate with the stamp sets here, but there's also this really fun little label die here too. There's flowers, a bunch of stems and leaves, and then the big peach here to cut out the stem and also the fruit. So the Sweet as a Peach bundle on page 60 and 61 of the annual catalog, you can purchase this as one big suite, which has the stamp set, the dies, the designer series paper, and the jam jars, or you can purchase each individual item as well. Yes, hi doggies, they are all in here with me today, all three of them now. So um, they will be joining me now forever and always here in the craft room. All right, our two projects that we are going to be featuring here today are these here. Now, like I mentioned, these are perfect for beginner stampers. But as you advance with your crafting skills, you can always step these projects up to make them more advanced. Now, these projects, like I mentioned, were created during our Stampin' Blondie team meeting. And what exactly is the Stampin' Blondie team? Now, from now until uh, one week from today, we have a registration special for you to join the Stampin' Blondie team. You get to choose any products, $155 worth of products for $99. That's over $50, $55 in free product. We have an amazing team both here in Tucson and across the United States where we gather virtually monthly and in person to be able to create projects together. I love my team ladies and I love my team. They've become my second little family here in Tucson. So we are having a great time um, making these projects monthly. And if you want more details about joining the Stampin' Blondie team, there will be a link in the description of this video after I'm done. There's no requirement to teach classes, hold Facebook Lives, sell any product. You could be a happy shopper and get 20 to 25% off of all your future orders. So there's no pressure to sell anything to anybody. And I love our team. So I know some of our team ladies are watching here today. So hi, everybody. <laughs> All right, we're gonna create these two projects today. And if you are new, or as always, joining me each week, I create a free project PDF with all the details on creating these projects. It has the items that I use, the item numbers, the prices, and at the bottom, the dimensions on the projects. So you can pair this free PDF. It's found on my website, stampandblondie.com, and you can pair this PDF with this video to create these projects along with me each week. Now I know Cindy, who I think is watching here tonight, she always follows along and creates my Makers Monday or Technique Tuesday projects. And it's really fun to see the spin that she puts on those projects as well. So I would love to see what you create with Makers Monday um, or Technique Tuesday. It's always fun to see how you can create the projects that I inspire you with. All right, we have these two projects today. And our first one today, we are gonna start with this card here. Have a peachy day. This is such a fun stamp set. I love not only that it has the images with it, but also the sentiments. Um, it's really nice to have a stamp set that has both of those together. 
And I can't get enough of this font. I wanna know what font this is because I wanna be able to write in that font. I like that it has like birthday, thank you, and some fun uh, peachy puns to go along with it. This is a great stamp set. At only $18, you can get a lot of use out of this set. All right, we've got um, our colors here today are Pear Pizzazz and Balmy Blue. Actually, two colors that I don't really use very often. These fall into our Subtles category of uh, our color family, and I really don't use our Subtles too often, but it's fun to create with something that's kind of outside your comfort zone. So we have a piece of Pear Pizzazz cardstock. This is cut at four and a quarter by 11. So a normal piece of eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock cut in half and just scored right down the middle. And I've got my bone folder right here. And we're just gonna use that to crisp up our line. And this is actually gonna be an easel card. So kind of a little different, unique than your normal standard greeting cards. So I like doing easel cards. It's really fun to create something that's different. Now, balmy blue cardstock. This is three and three fourths by five and one eighths. My standard matte size for my card. And let me do a swap here. I'm gonna move my stamp set over here and my project here so you guys can see that from the channel here. All right, we're going to adhere this with stamp and seal adhesive. And I'm gonna switch between stamp and seal today and my Tombow liquid glue. Um, stamp and seal, it's quicker to glue onto your project, but Tombow liquid glue has some forgiveness to it when you're actually adhering everything down. We have a piece of basic white cardstock. This is three and a half by four and seven eighths. So just a little bit, it's a quarter inch smaller on two sides to create that matte size. And we are going to use one of my favorite new in colors today. We're gonna use pale papaya. This is the perfect like peachy color for the stamp set. So Pale Papaya and Pear Pizzazz are our two ink colors that we're gonna be using for our peaches today. Now this stamp set, it's a photopolymer stamp set, meaning it's completely see-through and clear. You can see exactly where you're stamping, which is the best part of uh, these photopolymer sets. I, I really like being able to see exactly where I'm gonna be stamping. So we've got our pale papaya here and we are just gonna stamp two quick peaches and they're gonna go in opposite directions so we're gonna stamp on the right side of our paper here bring that up so you guys can see and we're gonna have one pointing to the left and one pointing to the right now it doesn't matter how um, close or far you want to leave room for your stems there when you stamp them and then you only need to do two because you're going to put this label punch here in the middle so no need to stamp more because it's just going to be covered up by your sentiment we've got our pear pizzazz and our little stems here and we're just going to ink that up and stamp it right in there's like a little divot in the peach that you can just stamp that right in there and the stems will fit right in. We're gonna layer our designer series paper. So I am using this piece right here. It has this really fun blue polka dot background to it. So really this card would look great with both sides of the paper, but I really like showing off the peaches for this. So we are gonna be doing both here. Uh, Bailey, hush, you're okay. She, oh gosh. Let me go close my door and lock her out really quick. <laughs> my husband's not home, so I don't know why they're going crazy, but that's okay. We'll continue on and just ignore them in the background. <laughs> All right, so I've used Tombow liquid glue on this part here. I did this because with the liquid glue, I have some give and forgiveness. With 
the stamp and seal adhesive if i was to use that to glue this down it's stuck right when i lay it onto my paper the liquid glue i can kind of shimmy and move my paper around if it's not exactly lined up exactly how i want it so we've got our designer series paper there and we're gonna then use stamp and seal on the back of this because I don't need to worry about moving this around our card base. Right there in the middle. For our sentiment, we're gonna use this Have a Peachy Day. This is uh, stamped in our regular Tuxedo Black Memento ink. So um, you can actually use the Tone on Tone with Pear Pizzazz ink and Pear Pizzazz um, cardstock <laughs> but you can use I like to use uh, black for my sentiments because it just really stands out from the rest of them so Tombow liquid glue let's close up the rest of our ink pads here before we get pale papaya and pear pizzazz everywhere I like to stamp my sentiment first and then we're gonna use the tailored tag punch so this is the tailored tag punch. It's found in our annual catalog. And we're just going to punch out after we stamp. I like to stamp and then punch just so that I know that I'm lining everything up here. And because I stamped my sentiment sideways, I can then go in sideways with my punch here and then it'll all be even in the end. So tailored tag punch, that's in our annual catalog in the back. We're gonna now use Stampin' Dimensionals. Come on, stuck to the, the table. We're gonna use Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of our sentiment punch here. Now, if you have dimensionals, there's this little piece that kind of runs around the outside after you use all of the dimensionals on the inside. Don't throw that away. This is still a whole nother piece of dimensionals and then you can use the entire sheet. So then there's no waste for dimensionals at the end of the package. All right, so we're gonna add our sentiment there at the bottom of our project and just a final touch for a little bit of bling. We're gonna use the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels and Wink of Stella. I love the Wink of Stella glitter brush. It's perfect to create uh, a little bit of shimmer and shine on your projects uh, without getting messy. I don't like loose glitter in my craft room. So we're just gonna use the Wink of Stella glitter brush on the leaves. Now the best part about this Wink of Stella is that it is buildable. So once you add that glitter if it's just not enough shimmer and shine for you you can always come back and add more you can let it dry just a few seconds and then go back in and add more shine to your project i just like to spot color my wink of stella on here and i added that little pool party colored rhinestone now while it doesn't coordinate it's not balmy blue it still has the same tone as our designers or our cardstock balmy blue and it's perfect here for creating that little sentiment there so here is our first project featuring the sweet as a peach stamp set let me know what you guys think about these i like how simple they are like i said simple stamping you don't need a lot of supplies to create this project and it highlights the stamp set and designer series paper really well and i like that little fun have a peachy day pun there so here's our first project. I hope you guys like that one. It's fun and cute and creative and I really like that. All right, let me open the door again so they don't go crazy not being able to come in now. So there we go. Okay, so our second project here features the peaches, but it's also got the leaves and the vine here. Now this stamp set is a little more trickier to use with the three peaches in one, but I'm going to show you some simple tip, trip, tricks and tips along the way about how to create this project. So for this one, we are going to use Calypso Coral. It is a darker kind of pink 
for this project and it really coordinates with the peaches that are in the designer series paper. So we've got our Calypso Coral. This is five and a half by eight and a half. So instead of an easel card, it's gonna be our normal card base here. We've got our, let me get it here. This is Pale Papaya two and a half by four and a half. And we're gonna add, make sure our card base is going the right way here. We're gonna add that to our card base using stamp and seal adhesive. So right here on the side, there. We have our designer series paper. Now this one is the one that I was telling you about with these cute little peaches. I couldn't figure out which side of this I wanted to use. But since most of it was gonna be covered up by our peaches, I really just wanted to use the bigger floral pattern on this side, plus the big peaches kind of match our stamp that we're gonna use. So we're gonna use seal adhesive for that part. And we're gonna adhere that right card base. Now you may have noticed that I used in my first card an oval, but today I'm gonna be using a circle. And that's because when I created this project, I forgot that our layering oval dies were retiring. So they're no longer available, but our layering circle dies are. So I'm gonna show you how to create this project with the layering circle dies that you may have instead of the oval dies. So kind of the same layout, just different shapes, and you'll still be able to create the same exact project as well. All right, we're gonna stamp first our peaches. Now this one can be a little tricky to line everything up. So I'm gonna show you what I did. I'm gonna use this circle as my background piece just so you can see the stamp a little bit better. And maybe if I hold it up here, it will you'll see it as well. So on this stamp right here, the peach comes to a point. That is gonna be just how I have it on here on my block. That's gonna be pointing towards the right side of my block. That's how I'm gonna line everything up. Once my point is towards the right, this peach here has a little divot at the top. There's a divot in that peach and the divot here in this bottom peach. So that's how we're gonna be able to line all of our stems and our peaches up together so that everything will be facing the right way. So we've got our pale papaya and pear pizzazz again. So open that up. Make sure our peach is pointing to the right and we're gonna stamp it right in the middle of our circle. Close that up so that we don't get pale papaya on everything. Yes, Kay, the paper is, I love it. I don't want to cut into it, but the whole thing is to like and love what you use and what you have. We're not here to hoard craft supplies. We're here to use craft supplies. So I love this paper though, and I'm very happy that it's in our annual catalog so that we have it all year round. All right, so we, because we have our little peach point going to the right, and our other peaches have kind of divots at the top, we'll be able to line up our leaves. So right, let me see if I can bring it up, right here is the end of one stem that's gonna go into our top peach. And then this middle stem right here, right there, is gonna go to our bottom. Now there may be some overhang here, so let me get, a piece of scratch paper so I don't stamp onto my crafting space. And we're just gonna make sure our peaches are going the right way and we're gonna stamp. So we're gonna line up. You may have to twist your stems depending on how you actually stamped your peaches. If there was a little bit of a tilt to it, um, you may have to tilt your leaves just a little bit more. But the great thing about this is that with it being a photopolymer stamp set is that you can see exactly where you're gonna be stamping. So you can kind of rotate until you get everything lined up. You want your stems to line up to your two bottom peaches and then there's an end of a stem that'll line up to that one peach that has the point. There you go. Now there may be some 
overlap here like on my original project my uh, leaves were on my peach and this time it's off my peach that's okay you can always um, cover it up you can restamp it however you want to do that so we're just gonna go with it like it is close up my pear pizzazz this we are going to adhere to our card base using stamp and seal and I'm gonna make sure again my pointed peach is off to the right we're gonna overlap that between our designer series paper and our card base I have a scratch piece of Calypso coral cardstock and this I didn't actually measure it I think on the yes I did on the, the little dimensions that I put on my PDF but this is two and three fourths by five eighths of an inch basically just enough that you can stamp your sentiment and we're gonna use happy birthday and our tuxedo black memento ink I used the happy birthday because this is a bright and cheery fun birthday card again it doesn't have to be a feminine or a masculine card anybody can receive this we're gonna stamp it right in the middle here give it a few seconds to dry now normally I like to flag the ends of my sentiment sometime but I wanted to try something different with mine so what I did is I just took my scissors and I cut at the same angle on both sides. It still gives it a little uh, fun look to it. It's not so square. And so we're just gonna take our scissors and cut at an angle here and cut at an angle there. So it's a kind of like a little fun way just to give your sentiment piece a little extra look to it and it's not just square so we're going to use dimensionals on the back of this again that extra dimensional outline piece so you can use the entire paper don't waste any of those dimensionals and we're gonna lay that right across our circle right there now you can always step this up again this project is perfect just the way it is but of course i like to add a little more something else so i'm using the pale papaya open weave ribbon this is the ribbon from the annual catalog it comes in all of our in colors if you are a member of my monthly in color club you will receive this color next month in your class kit so pale papaya is our color for next month. We had to start with my favorite, of course, polished pink was this month. So uh, all of the items should be at everybody's houses now. And I am so excited for you guys to create some polished pink projects with those. So just eight inches of ribbon. Uh, you can uh, do a quick bow tie here. I do like to use liquid glue or, you know what, we're gonna use glue dots. I have my glue dots right here actually. So we're going to take our bow and then just pick up a glue dot and then you can put that right onto your project. And then of course a final touch Wink of Stella glitter brush. Now for this one I decided to use Wink of Stella on the peaches. The last one I did that on just the stems but this one I'm adding a little bit of shimmer right to the peaches again like I said this is buildable so you can add more and more shine to it you can always embellish this with rhinestones if you want you can really step up the card with some die cuts of the peaches if you'd like but this is a perfect beginner simple stamping project all it is is stamps inks and paper um, very simple you can add the bow and I like the simplicity of this project as well with the stamp set so here are our two projects that we created today let me know which one is your favorite I think my favorite has to be the first one I really like this uh, this peach here with the wink of Stella just on the stems I love the pun um, and these projects as I described in my email today, are a peach of cake to make. 
So let me know which one is your favorite. I think this pear pizzazz and balmy blue one is definitely my favorite here today. All right. Well, thank you everybody for joining me for another week of Makers Monday. I hope you all liked my peach projects that I created for you and that you were able to follow along and create some of your own. Now, because next Monday is Memorial Day, unfortunately, there will not be a Makers Monday. But join me Tuesday of next week for Technique Tuesday. I have a really fun technique that I will be showing creating with the new pastels from the annual catalog. These are kind of hidden, so you may have overlooked them as you were looking through the catalog, but these new colored pastels are really fun and I can't create, I can't wait to create with you next week. So I look forward to seeing you for Technique Tuesday next week and I hope you all have a wonderful week and Memorial Day weekend. Bye.